What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video. Atlas Prime just got released and you know I got to make a video about him. I farmed his parts live on stream, super lucky to get everything super quick. By the way, do check me out on Twitch for some juicy streams, links in the description. So I made an Atlas video back in the day and has that build changed? Well, slightly. Atlas Prime has better stats than the normal variant, thus making him tankier and more durable. I would say he is quite a rock solid frame. Okay, I'm sorry. So in this build, I will only be utilizing his first and third ability. I won't go over all his abilities because Atlas does need a rework, and his current kit isn't that effective in all game modes. The build is revolved around petrifying your enemies and then punching them to the next dimension, a very simple combo that anyone can do. Petrified enemies take more damage from all sources. In higher level missions, you would need to strip armor for the enemies to take even more damage, and even juicier amounts of damage from your first ability. Petrification cannot be reapplied on petrified enemies till the duration has run out. Unlike Gaara and Frost, petrified enemies are still susceptible to newer status effects, and petrified enemies drop rubble. And this rubble heals him if he is low on health and grants him additional armor when he is topped up. The armor is capped at 1500, which can be seen at the bottom right of the screen, and the armor decays at 5 points per second. Your first ability landslide scales of power, melee equip mods, and a combo multiplier. So, you know what that means. You need a stat stick, meaning a melee that isn't used as a traditional melee weapon, but rather to boost the damage output of a Warframe's ability. Atlas's whole shtick is punching people, so you need everything to boost your punching power. He goes invulnerable every time he punches, making him quite hard to kill. Alright, let's take a look at the build. It's a one forma build. All I did was add a Naramon polarity, which is a dash polarity. My build build is more towards being tanky and able to do high amounts of damage in high level areas. So the aura is steel charge to boost our melee damage by 60% and also grants me additional mod capacity, which is so needed. I have all three umbral mods to increase the health, armor, and power strength when combined, granting me a total of 1389 base armor and 1872 base health. Power strength is at 221% with transient fortitude paired alongside the umbral mods. I have streamline and flow for the efficiency and a nice chunk of energy. Now you do notice my duration took a tiny dip and that's no problem at all. You don't need high amounts of duration for this build. Rage to replenish energy when we take health damage. And finally, a rank 8 adaptation for that 9% chance to gain 90% damage resistance towards a status effect. And you'll be taking a lot of damage from everywhere, so it stacks up quite fast. And yes, Atlas Prime is a damn good candidate for the Umbral Forma to make this build even more devastating. Speaking of stat sticks, I'll be using the Jaw Sword. Why the Jaw Sword? Well, like Meyer and Skana, it has a high Riven disposition and Syndicate weapon augments that boost the melee damage. And do you need a Riven? No, it just makes it even stronger. In this case, I do have a Riven which grants me additional damage and elements with a negative attack speed. And no, attack speed does not affect Landslide, but casting speed does. So mods like Speed Drift and Natural Talent do make the ability faster. And there are tons of other stats out there with pretty high riven dispositions, but I prefer the Jaw Sword. The build is very simple, lots of raw damage, elements, and drifting contact for the combo duration. Elements also boost the damage output of Landslide, and yes, IPS mods also add up to that as well. And when it comes to armor stripping, there are loads of great armor stripping weapons out there, like the Pox, Synax, Zati, and Mara Detron. And the one I highly recommend is the Mara Detron. This is only if you're going into the Void. Why? Because ancient healers exist, and enemies affected by the ancient healer aura will take less damage as they are granted 90% damage reduction, and the best way to deny them this effect is by applying radiation on the ancient healer or the affected targets. Now, Mar Detron can only be purchased from Barketeer or trading with other players, which can get a bit pricey. So why don't you make yourself a weapon that can do what the Mar Detron does, but better? and that's by crafting a kit gun. This is my hefty baby maker, built from the Tomb Finger Chamber, Ram Flare Loader, and Ramble Grip. This grants me innate radiation and high status chance, and a great fire rate, and can reach 100% status chance with only three dual stat mods before multi-shot. And since this is a kit gun, we can equip a kit gun arcane such as Pax Charge, making it have infinite ammo and giving it a charge mechanic instead of having it to reload. It's built for corrosive and 
heat. This can be used with other frames and weapons to boost condition overloads damage. Alright folks, this is my juicy, rock solid, it, it's, it's, it's my Atlas Prime and, and his builds. And uh, this has been it for me. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.